Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, February 7th, 2022. And as you see here, today I am going to introduce you to my best friend, to my little soulmate, the love of my life, Pippi. If you know me in real life, or if you follow me on Instagram, or if you followed my other page, my videos from way, 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 way back when, you will have met Little Pippi. This is my dog Pippi, who <laughs> of course is gonna make a cameo. This is my dog Pippi. So, Pippi is six years old. She'll be seven in three months on April 21st. And I have had Pippi since she was nine months old. So, let's give you a little background on Pippi. So, I had wanted a Pomeranian for quite some time before I got little Pippi. I just thought the breed was super cute. The dogs were adorable, quirky, fun, and small enough that people have traveled with them. So for months leading up to when I got Pippi, I had looked at the local shelter's website. I had been following along because I wanted to adopt a puppy. So as do a lot of people, as I soon found out. So. I was looking every single day, a few times a day, you know, refreshing the page. And then one day I saw a little orange Pomeranian on the site and his name was Victor. And he was, I can't remember how old he was, three years old, I think. And they posted this half an hour before they closed one afternoon. So I live about half an hour away. So I thought, well, I'll go first thing in the morning when they open. So I was there when they opened. I waited outside for like half an hour for them to unlock the doors. And then I rushed in. I found Victor's room. There was a big sign on the door and it said, caution, this dog is very shy and timid. Don't overwhelm it. So I saw him behind the glass doors. The doors are glass. And I saw him on the other side of the room and I knelt down and he like ran to the door and like put his paws on the door. Like this shy little dog liked me and I was so touched it like my heart just like then I saw another sign on the door that said adoption in progress so Victor was going home to a new family so I was quite sad about that and that is when I realized that adopting a dog from that local shelter adopting a little dog a little Pomeranian the kind that I wanted by doing that, I would not be saving a dog from a bad outcome because those dogs are adopted so quickly. Those dogs are not in danger of staying at the shelter for too long because a lot of people want dogs like that. So at that point, I decided I would look at local breeders and I found one not too far from where I lived. The breeder's company is called Rangelands. I contacted the breeder, I emailed her, and she said she had a little dog, a little puppy, a girl who was nine months old. I'll pop a picture of her, the picture that the breeder sent me. And this dog was available because she was the only puppy, the only child of her parents. Her dad's name was Tuttles and he was a show dog. And her mom's name was Princess Isabel something something of Rangelands. And Pippi's original name, her birth name, was Princess Violet, something, something, something of Rangelands. And the reason that Pippi was being sold at nine months old and not like a traditional puppy who sold at, I don't know, eight weeks or whatever, is that Pippi was intended to be a breeder. This little girl was intended to be a mom, but she was too little. <laughs> she was only three pounds when I picked her up. And I fell in love with her. She just looked so spunky and cute in the pictures. So I went out to pick her up one day and took her home. And we've been together ever since. So about a day after I got Pippi, it was the next day actually, I don't know why, I don't know what had caused it, but Pippi became very sick. Her energy just faded gradually throughout the day. And near the evening she was just lying there like not very vibrant so i took her to the animal hospital and they kept her there for i think three days and it was not a good situation um 
she and obviously ended up being okay and i don't know that they actually were able to diagnose her with anything uh maybe it was an infection i can't remember what it was but it wasn't like a chronic condition or anything it was just something that happened so anyway she got better and since then she's had some stomach issues on and off she's been in the hospital 2020 was a very bad year for her she was in the hospital like two or three times like for overnights but now I think we have that all under control. She's been doing so well lately. Every so often she'll eat a lot one day and then the next day she'll just skip breakfast. But I think that's, for her that's normal and she's not sick, she's not showing any signs of distress. She just sometimes loses her appetite for a few hours. So, But otherwise she's pretty calm. She's pretty healthy I would think. She's, not, uh, she's never really been a playful dog. Uh, sometimes she'll play for just a few seconds but she gets, gets tired of it very quickly. So I mentioned that one of the reasons that I wanted a Pomeranian was so that I could travel with her. And Pippi has been to many, many, many places already. When we'd had her for just a few months, she came with me to Europe and she has been to Germany and Croatia and we drove through Austria and Hungary and she has been to Florida and Halifax and Toronto and Vancouver and Calgary and Quebec City and Saguenay, Quebec and Montreal and Ottawa. So Pippi has been to a lot of places already and she is the best traveler. Like when we travel on a flight, regardless of how long, whether it be, you know, an hour to Vancouver or 10 hours to Europe, she just sits just like this on my lap. And people always tell me that they didn't even know there was a dog on the plane because she was quiet. She wasn't barking or causing a scene or anything. She just sits like this. She's just happy. So today was just a quick video. I just wanted to introduce you all to my little girl, the light of my life, my little soulmate and best friend. And tomorrow I will introduce you to the little man of the house, his name is Hugo. So I hope you tune in tomorrow as well. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment if you want to tell me how adorable my little doggy is. And subscribe if you want to see more, including tomorrow's video about Hugo. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, thank you for watching.